I found so many bolos today. Thrift with me. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. So I walked into the store and I was super excited to see all of these Goosebump books. 25 cents each guys and 30% off today. So that is my first big bolo. Um, I found so many bolos today at this store. I am super excited. Um, this is the store I was at that you guys told me I should go back and grab a few things. So I did go back and I did find a couple things. Uh, unfortunately, my phone ran out of battery. So I only have a little bit of footage of me in the store, which is so unfortunate because it would have made for a great video, me finding the stuff that I found today. So here's those lights that you guys told me to go back for. I went back and got them. I have five packs, uh, $2.50 each with 30% off. This thing, comps look really good. Um, it's something about help prevent check fraud. I have no idea what it is. But uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you some comps. It's pretty exciting. This is a little Yankees um, lovey. And it's still got the original tag. Super cute. Great bread butter item. I think it was a dollar with 30% off. Uh, this is called, I can't remember, Vow Slide some sort of exercise thing. And it, you guys just wait until you see what I found. It's so exciting. Okay, I think this is um, from Toad and Frog. It's an Eden plush from 1979. And I thought I was missing the hat, but his hat's on there, so we're all good. But his pants, the his pants keep falling down because the elastic is so stretched out. Uh, I think that's a Joyce Meyer. And I've heard that sh her stuff does pretty decent so it's probably a good bread and nut butter item it was only 25 cents uh, with 30 percent off so definitely should make some money on that one all right here is the ice cream and freezer maker thing and it says never used but I'm like it's a thrift store like how do they know so um there it is there's the front and I'm gonna open it up and take a peek um I saw, well, you'll see at the end of the video, like some people part them out and just sell the motors. So I think I'm going to sell it as everything you see here. And hopefully it's a complete set really never used because that'll be great. So that's a jewelry designer. You guys just got a picture of my Crocs that I've had since I was like 15. <laughs> I love them. And my mom brought us, my sister and I, back those little things that you stick in your Crocs. Um, and they don't come out very easily. So those have been there probably since I was 15 also. <laughs> I, I wear those out in public sometimes by accident. And I'm like, oh, that's a little bit embarrassing. So they just made it to my video. So these are the buttons I got. They're kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe it was a bad buy. They're bread and butter. Um, they were a buck each, so I got them for 70 cents. I mean, I should definitely make, make some money. I did find the South Park, but the other ones I couldn't find exactly the same thing under the solds. There's the little honey bear that you guys told me to go back and get, so I went back and got him. He's a little dirty, so I'm going to run him through the wash. There's the little Indian boy, Native American boy. I'm not sure what I'm going to use in the title. Um, so cute, so cute. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I think you paint by number and then somehow apply it to your shirt. I'm not sure, but they were a dollar each, so I got them for 70 cents each, and I'm going to take a chance on these and hope that maybe some crafters will be interested. And I did get this. Um, I couldn't find comps on it that had sold. So we'll see. The Ultimate Baseball, the game. I have no idea what this is. 
I can't find comps on it. It's sealed. I mean, I can't find comps. This, has anybody ever seen this game before? If so, please comment below. Um, oh yeah, there's the Monopoly. And I do grab it because it's sealed. Okay, guys, here's um, the big money. Are you ready? It's called Body Boss Total Workout Systems. All right, so here soon, I'm going to go over to eBay and I'm going to show you guys what these items are selling for, which is going to help me compare prices so that I know what to list my items for. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and learn about some maybe things you didn't know about. Did I score big today at the thrift store? Yes, yes I did. I found some major bolos. Wait until you see the comps on some of these items. All right, so these are the solds, okay? And that one says open box, brand new, went for 189. Mine is unopened, brand new. I think, I mean, I put in the item number and this is what it pulled up. Now, look at, um, let me go to, actives which the actives are like crazy prices but they're not selling so um i don't know i gotta look into it a little more when to figure out how i'm gonna price mine but these prices are crazy now that one's only 50 and it says open box so my box is still sealed and i'm trying to remember what i paid for it it was like four or five dollars it was in the video it's, it showed it on the front so super cool find I'm glad I scanned it because I had no clue what it was I'm still not even sure what it is the next item is this rival electric ice cream and yogurt maker freezer and my box looks like that one and this sold for $149.95 now this does say brand new and I did open mine in the video and it said never used, but I really need to like confirm that all the parts are there. But I mean, look right here. This is just the, the motor only and it went for 75 and that looks like it might just be the bucket. So I definitely, um, that one went for, that one's different. So yeah, I definitely got to do a little more research on this, but how cool is that? Now mine's a five quart. Those are six quarts. And I, I can't remember like five or maybe this one was $8. I have to look at the video. <laughs> Sorry. I shopped all day today, so I'm having trouble remembering the numbers, but those are two big bolos I got today. This little game. Um, I bought this today. It was sealed. Um, I, if, if I find a game that's sealed, I feel like it's going to do decent or it's going to be bread and butter. This one, I mean, one of them sold for $19.99 uh, plus shipping. And the shipping was, what, $15 on this? So, I don't know. I, I got to do a little more research. But comps are kind of crazy on this. It says trending at $11.74. So, it was pretty cheap. And today, everything was 30% off. So, that's even better. Um, all right. You guys saw the baseball game. I put in um, Glyphsby. I think that's how you say it. Baseball game. And these are the only things I could get to come up. I cannot find the exact one I have. And it is sealed. And I do believe it's vintage. I need to look into it a little more. But if you guys know anything about that game I showed at the beginning, please let me know. Because this is similar, but it's definitely not the same. So no comps available. I should do a Google search. Maybe I'll find it that way. Okay, so I got this fun guy today. And if this says he's from the Adventures of Frog and Toad, and he is a 1979 Eden vintage plush doll. And mine, the outfit is a little rough. The elastic on his pants is pretty stretched out. And I don't think he has a hat. So 
I don't know how I'm going to list him yet. And his eyeballs have some issues, but he is really cool. And I picked him up today. All right, this New York Yankees. Mine is pink. But you can see here, $15.95 free shipping. So a great bread and butter item. And this looks like the one I got. It's called Vow Slide Sliding Exercise Discs. Now, I always get a little nervous with um, things like this um, that are workout things just because Beachbody will give you a Vero. Um, so I've got, I'm going to look into this a little more. But this one sold for $24 plus shipping. And, but, you know, this one sold for $35. Um, so we'll see. Got to figure out how I'm going to list that. All right, this um, Native American boy picture, this is the one I got. Somebody has it listed for $25 or best offer plus shipping. Um, I just thought it was adorable, so I grabbed it. It was $4 with 30% uh, off. Okay, the rattle. I cannot find the rattle, you guys. So here's the Snoopy one, and this is a Smurf, but they're not as cool as the one I got, the Donald Duck. So I'll probably just come up with my own price on that one. Um, here's the Honey Pooh Bear that I went back for, and I need to wash it because it's kind of dirty, but I think it was only a dollar. But this sold for 10 plus shipping, so a bread and butter item for sure but my subscribers told me to go back and get it, so I did. I tried to look for some of the other items too. Um, I did get one more. Uh, okay, so the pin back buttons, they were a dollar um, per set. So I'm, I think I have both of these, so I'm just gonna lot them together. And these are not uh, solds, these are actives. I could not find any solds. Now, the same with the Green Bay Packers. I could not find the exact buttons. These are active. Um, mine is different, so it's not really a great comparable, but it's just something. Here's the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Again, I could not find the exact buttons, so I'm just going to have to come up with a number on my own. Here's the South Park. Now, that is a sold. It sold for $10 and um, the buyer paid shipping. So I paid a dollar with 30% off. So I've got 70 cents in that. So that's a great bread and butter item. I think that'll do well. Same with the Lord of Rings. It's not Lord of Rings. Is that what it is? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Now this has more on it than the one I got. Could not find the exact comp, so I will just make up a number. This is a jewelry um, over the door hanger. It's not identical to mine, but it's similar, so I'll probably price it around there. I thought it'd be good on Poshmark also, even Mercari. So this is the little, like, I think it's called an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, this is very similar to the one I got. They're calling it I have no idea what that is, what that C word is. Uh, I don't know, but Lasonic, and it cleans jewelry. So I think I'm gonna keep that because it's got like speeds, two speeds, and it, um, yeah, it cleans it and the solutions in there. So I paid five dollars for that, and I think it's brand new, and I think I'm gonna keep it and use it for my jewelry. Okay, another huge score today, goosebumps. This is like one of those items that I know about and I've never been lucky enough to find and I found it today. Super excited. Um, let me just show you some comps. I have 60 books that I bought. Um, they were 25 cents each and um, they were 30% off. Oops. And uh, I do not have a complete set. So that's where it's gonna get tricky is trying to figure out how to list them. But you can see if you guys can get a complete set or, I mean, there's 62 in that one and it went for 275. But again, I have 60 books and it's not complete. So I have got to figure out how on earth I'm gonna list these, if I wanna sell them all together, if I want to try to sell like one through 10 together, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, please put them in the comments below. 
um, that goes for anything in the video. If you have any suggestions or comments, that's that's great. But you can see goosebumps are definitely, definitely a huge bolo. So I'm really excited to have gotten those today. Uh, the red, white, and blue uh, patriotic uh, 4th of July lights. This is the only thing I could find that was even remotely close. And they sold for $24.99 with free shipping. I think mine are cooler. And I have, I think, five sets. They were $2.50 each, and I got... Um, 30% off, so I don't know what that equals. But anyway, probably less than $10 for all of them. And I do need to test them still, but they did say on the packaging that they worked. And the score of the day, I got this for $6. Pre-owned went for $167.89. Now this is very heavy, so I am not doing free shipping. Um, so I will probably lower the price like here's this one. It went for 80 with um, Plus shipping so I gotta look into it a little more but um, let me go over here to the actives you guys can see um, So this one's active It's pre-owned. It's at hundred and twenty two fifty plus shipping so that one's up right now, but it looks like it has the box. Mine doesn't have the box, and this looks like it's just the bag. So, um, yeah, I've got some homework to do for sure, but I do want to get these things listed ASAP. And that is from my next haul, so we will go into that in another video. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.